my name is Debbie with Ferry Morris Home Gardening. Have you ever wondered how to grow a plant from seed? While it seems pretty straightforward, sometimes the results are disappointing for new gardeners. So, how does one successfully start a garden from seed? To give you a better understanding, we're here to break down the process of seed germination and provide a list of plants anyone can easily grow indoors from seed. A seed is a miraculous little package containing everything it needs to remain viable and eventually grow. While there are several different types of seeds, they all need to germinate in order to start the process of growing into a beautiful and healthy plant. Different seeds have different needs to initiate germination. Larger, heavier seeds require dark conditions to germinate, and smaller, lighter seeds stay near the soil surface, requiring some light to germinate. Once a seed finds itself in an optimum growing medium, imbibition begins. Use a soilless mix or peat pellets, not garden soil when sowing your seed. And a really, really good medium for starting your seeds is the Jiffy Seed Starting Mix. You can germinate seeds in just about any container that holds seed starting mix and provides good drainage. All you have to do is fill it three quarters full with planting medium, sprinkle your seeds over it, cover per the instructions on the seed packet and add water. Peat pots and pellets allow you to germinate, grow, and transplant seedlings directly into your garden from one container, increasing their chances of survival. Consistent watering keeps the planting medium moist, but not soggy, and will kickstart the germination of most seeds. Overwatering is a really big deal when most gardeners start off, so if you're not sure, just use a mister for the first few days. Seeds germinate best at their native temperature range. If it's too cold, that can cause your seeds to rot. A heat mat combined with a jiffy greenhouse like this one can provide the right environment for germination indoors. Outdoors, clear plastic can help warm the soil. Just be sure to remove it after seedlings begin to emerge. Reading seed packets for instructions will provide all the information you'll need about your plant's requirements to grow. The USDA plant hardiness zone map a good germination chart, and those seed packet instructions make finding the correct temperature range for seed germination a super easy process. All of those resources can be found on fairymorris.com. So when starting your seedlings, lighting is going to be a big part of the equation. Insufficient lighting results in weak and leggy seedlings. Grow lights provide excellent supplemental lighting, especially in indoor environments lacking enough light from the sun. Once a seed has germinated and sprouted into a seedling, your seedling will need light to keep growing. Some really good seed options for any beginner include plants like eggplant, marigold, pepper, sunflower, tomato, and zinnia, and some other options like beets, corn, cucumbers, okra, peas, squash, and watermelon can do well if planted directly outdoors or germinated in biodegradable pots indoors. Learning to germinate seeds successfully is the foundation of becoming an accomplished gardener. Please be patient with yourself as you master some of these techniques. As always, we are here to support you in your journey and have made a huge library of resources available at fairymorris.com. Find everything you need to help you be a more successful gardener.